hello 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 y'all welcome back to my channel y'all i i just did a video i did not plan on doing another video right now because i told y'all i don't feel good and but i was just strolling through y'all just sitting here strolling through strolling through strolling through and i ran across this story right here this story is so sad y'all y'all subscribe um yeah i mean i first want to thank my subscribers those of you who've already subscribed to my channel thank y'all very much from a genuine place in my heart those of you who have not subscribed to my channel please do so as you come in to review the content y'all like hit the notification bell subscribe y'all comment in the comment section down below and y'all y'all just come on rock with me over here but anyway y'all i I want to talk to y'all about this guy here. This guy, Sean Emerson. He's 23 years old, y'all. He's a barber. His girlfriend was at work, y'all. See, that's what I'm saying. Y'all, young girls, y'all need to get y'all priorities together. I don't care how much y'all have to... Yeah. It's crazy, though, because I can't even say that part either because stuff happens everywhere. But anyway... I would rather pay a child care for my child or I'd rather pay a family member or something. See, that's the thing. Y'all don't be want to pay people. Y'all don't want to pay people. But see, when you care about your child, you're going to do what come, what's best for your child, you know, so that you can feel better about yourself. But instead, y'all leave these kids with men that y'all don't even know. First of all, you got daddies around here killing their own kids. So then you want to leave your child with a boyfriend that you hardly even know. I don't even know how long they've been together, but I'm just saying. Still and all. It's not his child. These men don't give a damn about child. So you know damn well they don't care about your babies. So then y'all want to leave, um, you want to leave these kids with these boyfriends and stuff. You know. I did another um story a while back about this Caucasian guy was dating this uh black girl, was was dating this black girl. He killed her baby. Killed her seven year old. I think he was seven years old. He, he was seven or eight years old. He killed that girl's baby and then they left the body in there for about four years. Was it about that long? I was it a year, y'all. I might I'm hey, I, I got a lot of drugs in me right about now. It was either I, whatever I did story. He killed he killed the baby. But y'all leaving these kids with these men, y'all that that's mm -mm. no. Pay a family member. And if you don't have a family member that you could pay to babysit your kids while you at work, then pay the daycare. Do not leave y'all kids at home with these men. Those men don't care about these kids. Every man, everybody is not suited. And equipped to be a parent. And then a lot of them that is parents don't even keep their own damn kids. So they damn sure don't really want to watch yours. So I don't even know why he agreed to keep this baby. You know, but it's so sad. It's sad what he did to this baby, y'all. This baby, this baby was found unconscious. I think he found the baby. The baby was found unconscious, y'all. The baby had broken ribs, two black eyes, cigarette burns all over the body, head trauma, and collapsed lungs. This baby's only three years old. Her name is Isaiah. They didn't give her last name, and they didn't show any pictures or anything like that. But she went to the um, hospital that day. Um, I think it was the 18th. December the 18th, I ain't do a lot on this because I just got pissed off about it real fast. And I was thinking about my grandkids. Y'all, I have 17 grandkids, and I do not get to see them all. I have not seen them all in almost two years. Two years. Um. So even um, my son's kids, those the ones that I have not really seen, I don't know who keeping them but I, my grandkids they're they're actually all old enough you know to to um to be by themselves you know basically and then i i actually think they they got good moms they got good moms you know um 
So I don't have that problem to worry about. And my they talk to their fathers and stuff. They talk to my sons and them. So everything good. I hope to God it is. But um Yeah, but it's crazy. You know, my daughter my daughter has three kids, but ain't no man gonna watch them. Whatever she got to do, she better make sure I'm off work so that I can watch my own grandkids. I have nieces that has kids. I have nephews that have kids and stuff, you know. But so far, all of our kids are good, you know. Thank God for that. But our kids are covered in the blood of Jesus. Like, all kids are covered, but stuff happens, you know what I'm saying? But I'm saying with my mom pray, 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 pray for her, all of her grandkids. You know, she's she's gone to glory right now. But trust and believe you me, she's still watching these kids from the realm. She's still watching these kids from the spiritual realm. But these mom, y'all young mothers around here, if you cannot afford child care, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like take whatever out of your paycheck that you need to pay for child care for these kids. If not, Pay someone in your family to watch these kids. Do not leave y'all kids at home with these men. This man, this man tortured this baby. He tortured this baby, y'all. He tortured this baby. This baby, three years old, a little girl. And this baby, he done broke this baby ribs. He gave this baby two black eyes. Cigarette burns all over this baby body from head to toe. Head trauma and collapsed lungs. The mamas need to be arrested because for all this to happen to this baby, what the hell? This all I, I'm sure I pray to God this ain't just happened to this baby in one day. Well, it shouldn't happen to this baby at all. I don't know how long it took, but this mama knew something at one point in time. I know she could sense something. I'm sure this probably wasn't his first time watching this baby. And I wonder what type of mom was this, whatever, because this man look crazy. Ain't no way in the hell I would have um, even allowed him to watch my damn baby. I'm going to show y'all a picture of this fool. But, but y'all, he, he facing life without the possibility of parole. That's one good thing. So I hope the men in there torture his ass. I know they are, especially when they find out that he killed the baby. Yeah, I can't wait for him to get there. I can't wait for him to get there so they can do something with his goofy looking self. Look at it. Baby, I can't wait. Well, I don't know what happened just now. Stop. Y'all see? I can't wait for him to get there so they can do, do him something. Also, y'all, I, um... Y'all girls, y'all, 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 put y'all, make y'all kids y'all priorities. Make y'all kids y'all first priority. Oh, I don't know what time. I got a video that I want y'all to see. Hold on. I wish I could have seen the picture of the little old baby, y'all. But, of course, I know that's a baby and they ain't finna just. Let's see. What happened? Lord, I know. Hold on. say that this child was beaten to death just days before the holiday that most children her age look forward to. And unfortunately, it appears it was a familiar face that's accused of doing the unthinkable to this little girl. Detective, they don't deserve it. They don't. 23-year-old Sean Emerson is being charged with felony murder and first-degree child abuse in connection to the death of his girlfriend's three-year-old daughter, Isaiah Matthews. I'm devastated. I'm a father. I got two kids of my own. We're told back on December 18th, Oakland County deputies responded to calls of an unconscious and unresponsive child at a set of townhomes on Granville Court in Pontiac. 
it was like four of them in there. We don't know what's going on. I just thought it was going on, you know, routine check, but kind of found out it was a murder. After being rushed to the hospital, doctors found that Lou Isaiah had several broken ribs, two black eyes, and multiple cigarette burns on her legs and chest. The three-year-old also had severe head trauma and a collapsed lung. She would die two days later on December 20th after being transferred to Children's Hospital. 23-year-old Amerson, an apparent barber, says he was giving a client a haircut in the kitchen when the little girl was found not breathing. Isaiah's mother was at work when she was found. Amerson was arrested shortly afterwards and charged on Christmas Day. That's sad, y'all. That's so sad. That's so sad. If if you don't have no responsible person to keep your child, then don't work. Don't work. It's dads around here that's killing their own kids. And they probably wonder where was the father of this baby that this that this father couldn't keep the baby. If you don't have anybody responsible to keep your kid, then don't work. Do not leave these kids with no stepdaddies. And they not even stepdad, they just your boyfriends. They they probably ain't want to carry on that title. It's so sad, but um Yeah, okay, now I'm gone for real this time. I'm not I may do another video tomorrow. I ain't doing another today. I cannot see today. I don't know why y'all I cannot see today. But y'all um thank y'all for watching the video. And y'all comment down in the comment section below. I I I I really want to see what y'all got to say about this case. So y'all comment in the comment section down below. Hold on, y'all. <coughs> <coughs> but um, yeah, y'all um, y'all like this video. Y'all subscribe if you have not subs already subscribed to my channel. Please subscribe. Y'all like. The video hit the notification bell and again comment in the comment section down below if you click on the notification bell you will be notified by any videos that i put up okay i'll see y'all later because i'm about to go lay back down so y'all take care y'all pray for this baby y'all pray for her family you know keep her in our prayers and stuff sending out condolences you know just send it out It'll, it, the angels will take it to the people, to the family, okay? Y'all, okay, I'll see y'all later. Bye.